Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa and I am inside today. Um, I wanted to be outside for a passionate porch time position statement, but it's pouring rain and thundering and lightning and I was like, ah, shoot. And it's this time of the year. I mean, July and August pretty much sets par for the course when you live in Florida as I am learning. So some of my porch time is now turning into inside time with the goat room, which is going to become a thing. Um, anyway, what I wanted to do today is to share with you a little bit of insight as to the origin of where what the key to the house and the key to the car of where that came from mostly in response to the fact that that's really become something that a lot of people are talking about this week during the um I was going to say during my participation, but during this week, during the Play First Summit with Fairy Dust Teaching and Teacher Tom. And I wanted to kind of give you some insight as to where that actually came from. I don't often tell that story because I don't think it really organically comes up a lot at a gig, but I figure right now I can carve some time out to uh, give a nod and pay some homage to where that came from. And her name is Carol Brandt. And Carol Brandt lived down the street from me. When I was growing up, she was married, she had a couple kids, and when I was about 13, she invited me over because she was going to uh, consider me for uh, a babysitter, right? Friday night when her and her husband would go out on a date or whatever, she had two kids, a boy and a girl, um, Stephen and Kristen, and so this is what happened. So I'm 13, and she takes me on a tour of her house. And I'm not talking like, you know, and here's the bathroom and here's the bedroom. I'm talking like, and here is where we keep the fire extinguisher. Here is how you use the fire extinguisher. This is how to change the battery in a smoke alarm. I'm talking like she showed me, you know, how, to, I'll never forget this. She showed me how to roll her baby. Kristen at the time was an infant. She is now a mother of her own children. She showed me how to properly roll her tight enough in a blanket and how to throw her out the second story window in case there was a fire and we had to get out of the building from the second floor. And I, I kid you not, guys, I was I was 13 and I'm like, where do you keep the chips? You know, like, where's your pantry? And you got cable? This is what I was thinking about. And this woman was going through each room in her house, methodically pointing things out. And, you know, I'm I kind of dialed in pretty quick that this wasn't just a regular, like, you know, come let me give you the tour and, you know, I'll call you for next Friday night. And so I really started listening to what she was saying. And I probably asked a lot of questions, you know, once I realized that this is, you know, how she was handling it. So a tour of the entire house. And when we, when it was done, we sat down in her, <laughs> I'm going to cry. We sat down in her um, dining room. It was more of a formal kind of house. And we sat in her dining room and she looked at me and she took her purse and she pulled her keys out and she took the house key off of her key ring and she slid it across the table to me. And she looked at me and said, you should be so lucky. And she said it in a loving way. Sometimes people think that she was being snarky. She wasn't. You should be so lucky that I would even think about leaving you with my children, that I would even consider leaving you with my children, because I would not ever leave anybody with my children, that I would not also give a key to my house. And she looked at me and said, and when you get your driver's license, you will get a key to my car. That's where that came from. Crystallizing moment. First with Miss Mary when I was three, we're so glad you're here. And I grew up wanting to give that back. And along the way, there were other people who had that kind of power. I was 13 years old when she said that to me. And I think, honestly, at that point, like, I grew up. I grew up a little bit. That was very, very powerful. And I have used it. I mean, to this day. I mean, it's the whole keynote is kind of based around that. You know, telling you the story of my first day of school and then sharing with you how I did tell parents I need a key to the house and the key to the car and how could you possibly leave me with your baby if you wouldn't let me drive your truck. And I really encourage you, and I've posted it a couple times today and also yesterday, but lift it up. Don't lock and load on the actual key. Lock and load on the message and the symbolism 
of the trust. Trust that I was given by a, a grown woman as a 13 year old, that she trusted me with a key to her house. Oh, is it, it just it's, it has stayed with me forever. So every time, although I don't always acknowledge Carol and say her name, when I tell that story, that that is where that came from. And I still am, on social media anyway, in contact with Stephen and Kristen. And I look forward to letting them know that this is now up there and will be in existence here on the social media, on the interwebs. And a little bit of a nod to their mom, who was a huge mentor and a huge positive influence on me while I was growing up. So there's that. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.